Hi everybody, thanks for watching my Italian alphabet video. I'm assuming here that you already know everything I covered in my intro to the IPA video and in my Sounds of the Italian Language series, so if you haven't seen those I encourage you to check them out before continuing with this video. Learning the spelling conventions of a foreign language can be pretty overwhelming, even when it's a language like Italian where everything is pretty much spelled according to specific rules. I'm going to talk about those conventions in my next series, but here I just want to cover the letters of the Italian alphabet and the sounds they can potentially make. Do be aware that although some letters can stand for multiple sounds, that doesn't mean you get to just pick one. Italian uses the Roman alphabet like English does, but the sounds the letters stand for are often different. I'm going to go over all 26 letters and lay out all the possible pronunciations. Also, I'm going to include some combinations of letters just to get all the sounds covered, because sometimes you have to write two or more letters to get one sound, a lot like how in English we write SH to get the one SH sound. Here we go. A as in anno, B as in bello, C as in capro, or C as in cieco, C as in che, D as in donna, E as in e, or A as in e, F as in farfalla, G as in gonna, or j, as in gelido, ñ, as in gnocco, l, as in gli. H is always silent, as in anno, i, as in ira, or y, as in ieri, y, as in muoio, c, as in kaiser, L as in limone, M as in mamma, N as in nonna, N as in ancora, M as in un poco, and M as in invece, O as in O, or A as in A, P as in pure, C as in quarto, R as in ricco, or R as in gara, S as in sempre, or Z as in sbarra, SK as in scatola, or SH as in scena, SK as in scheda, P as in tutto, U as in uva, or U as in uomo, V as in vecchio, W as in wolframio, or V as in vat, X as in xenophobia, Y as in yogurt, or I as in itrio, Z as in zingaro, or Z as in zacchera. So there you have all the possible pronunciations of the letters of the Italian alphabet. I'll be putting up some new videos really soon about the spelling rules that determine which of these pronunciations you're going to be working with. I know in some cases it can be a little difficult to tell apart the different pronunciations of a letter, and I'll go into more detail in my next video about that as well, about what the difference is and under what circumstances you use which pronunciation. As always, feel free to ask questions in the comments, and please subscribe to my channel if this video was helpful to you. See you next time.